Today in the section of important features of the Indus Valley Civilization, we will be discussing about the religious life of the people in the, in the, in the Harappan Civilization and also we will be discussing about the political organization that existed uh, in the Harappan Civilization. First of all about the religious life of the people in the Indus Valley Civilization. From the excavations, we get a lot of uh, uh, remains from different sites of the Harappan cities, which give us information about different things related with the Harappan people. We can frame out the religious life of the people by the things that uh, we get in excavations from the different Harappan sites. Many terracotta figures have been found in excavations from the different Harappan sites. The pictures painted on the pottery and uh, the images made on the seals which have been, un been unearthed during different excavations gives us a lot of information about the religious life of the people. From that we can say that uh, the Harappan people were idol worshippers and also nature worshippers. The main deity of the Harappan people was Mother Goddess. This we say because in large number of houses, in most of the houses it can be said that uh, uh, a niche has been found in which the image, the seal of Mother Goddess has also been found. So that gives us an idea that Mother Goddess, worshipping of Mother Goddess was one of the most important feature of the relig religious life of the Arapan people. A figurine found in Harappa has been depicted with a plant growing from the womb uh, of Mother Goddess. It probably represents the Earth Goddess. It seems that the Harappan people worshipped Earth as a Goddess of Fertility. The Harappan people also worshipped a male deity with three faces. Many seals have been found in which a deity is shown seated on a throne in a typical posture of a yogi. And different type of elephants like different type of animals like elephant, rhinoceros, buffalo, deer, these are depicted around the throne on which the deity is seated. For example, the elephant is, seat, is depicted on its right. The rhinoceros and buffalo on the left and two deers are shown standing under the throne on which the yogi is seated. This seal has been identified as that of the Pashupati Siva. The Harappans also worshipped uh, Ling and Yoni and uh, small stones such as the Shivlings of today has also been found from different Harappan sites from Mohenjo-daro and Harappa also. A terracotta figure having Ling and Yoni in one piece has been found in Kalibangan also. The terracotta seals found in excavations from different sites also suggest that perhaps animal worship was also in practice in the Harappan region. Besides, the Harappans used to believe in life after death also. They normally used three different ways of disposal of dead. Either the dead body was buried in the ground or 
The dead body was first of all burnt and the remains were collected and placed in an earthen vessel which was buried in the ground. Besides, sometimes the dead body was left in the open for the wild animals and birds to eat its flesh and the remaining skeleton was buried in the ground. The Harappan people had a proper system of administration and management that is clear from the development of towns and cities in such a scientific manner and the prosperity of trade and commerce that existed in the Harappan region that tells us that a proper system of political organization must be prevailing in the Harappan society to monitor and manage all the things in a systematic way. However, we have not much information about the political system that prevailed over there. There are contradictions among different scholars regarding the type of political system that used to prevail. Many believe that uh, uh, it was administered by kings. Some believe that the priests were priest used to be the administrative heads or even traders might be in administrative positions. So there is no clear cut difference in the economic, religious and administrative units uh, of the Harappan civilization as it is in other Bronze Age civilizations. However, the views of Stuart Pigott and Wheeler is that that the Harappa was ruled by priest kings. Scholars have different views regarding the political system in the Indus Valley civilization also. Stuart Pigott was of the opinion that the Harappan kingdom was governed from two places which were the capital cities. According to him, it is also possible that the whole area was divided into many independent states with each having a separate capital. However, in opinion of some other scholars, they were not separate states but a single state under one ruler. Whatever be the administrative form of Harappan civilization, from the nature of civilization, The systematic planning of the cities and its management, the prosperity of trade and commerce that existed, it is certain that the administration was highly skillful and responsible. In the Harappan region,